Hey everyone, Shang here and welcome to my channel. Now, a few days ago while walking, I encountered a person talking to random strangers. Don't do that kids. And they found out that I was a math instructor. So they thought it would be funny to ask me one simple question, probably for the purpose of throwing me off, which they did. Congratulations, you succeeded. That simple question was, what is the center of a triangle? So I stood there awkwardly thinking, and I had no clue. I had to go home after admitting defeat, telling them I have no idea. Using my handy dandy tool, Google, I decide to look it up. What the heck is the center of a triangle? Lo and behold, there's more than one answer. Actually, there's four answers. So today we're gonna go over all four different centers of a triangle. The first one is called the orthocenter. Now, there's two different ways to spell it, and I think maybe because of US, UK, or whatsoever, but I found them spelled both ways, so here it is, right? The orthocenter is fairly simple. With any triangle, you're gonna pick the vertices, which are these little points right here, of the triangle, and then you're gonna draw lines across that are perpendicular. Now, the miraculous thing is that all three lines will intersect each other. And that intersection right here is one of the centers of the triangle known as the orthocenter. All right, so the second one is circumcenter. Now, spelled both ways again. This one is slightly different from the first one. The second one has nothing to do with the vertices now. What it does is that it gets the midpoint of every line segment in the triangle and it draws a perpendicular line from those midpoint. And that intersection right here, this is known as the circumcenter. All right, so the third one is a centroid. Now, this has nothing to do with the perpen perpendicularity of any of the line segments. Now, this one only focuses on the vertices and the midpoint. So the vertices, once again, are these basically these like points. Uh, tips, I don't know, of triangles, right? And then the midpoint is the midpoint of each segment. So when you get the vertices and you draw it to the midpoint across, right, they all intersect. And this point right here is known as the centroid. Now, the fourth one is actually very interesting. It doesn't really have anything to do with any line segment that are intersecting each other. This is known as the mid circle. So what happens is first and foremost, I've circled these three dots because it starts off with six points total. You're drawing a circle that intersects all six points and that center of that circle is the, I guess the new center of the triangle, right? So the center of that circle is a circle that passes two distinct points on each of these segments. The first one is the midpoint. So basically, you know, the middle segment of that line segment. Now. The second point is known as the altitude. Now, if you remember the first center of a triangle, we mentioned altitude. What it is, is from the vertices, you're drawing a line straight across that creates a perpendicular angle, which is basically a 90 degree angle. So that means these points right here, the ones that I did not circle, those are the intersection of where you pick a vertices, draw a perpendicular line, those are the points. So a circle that passes all six points, right? The center of that circle is known as the mid circle. So there you have it. That is the four centers of a triangle. Once again, we have the orthocenter, the circumcenter, the centroid, and the mid circle. So take that, you random stranger who thought it would be funny to ask me this simple question question. Now, for those of you guys who are students or who happen to know anyone who is self-proclaimed good at math, please, 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 because I am petty and I had to go through this, I want you guys to ask them, what is the center of a triangle? And see what they say. If they say any one of these, hey, they got one of them, tell them that they are wrong, there is still four more. Now, here's a thing for you guys to think about. There are certain circumstances where these guys are actually the same thing. There are situations where the orthocenter, the circumcenter, centroid, or any combination of them happen to be that one single point. So it's up to you guys to figure out what it is. Anyways, thank you for watching. 
please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.